All right, hello and welcome back to the Binge Boys podcast. This week, we're here to talk to you guys about Book of Boba Fett, or what I like to call it, Book of Booba T. I hope you guys are ready and will enjoy this incredible ride for me to shit on Star Wars. <laughs> but before we get into that, I must introduce ourselves. And with you today, my name is Enrique. My name is Eli. And my name is Tristan. Let's get this out the way. All right. <laughs> All right. I'm lost. Okay. Lore-wise, you... don't know anything about Boba Fett. My only uh, Same, knowledge actually. of Boba Fett is the Lego games. <laughs> and whenever he's appeared slightly in the video games, like okay. uh, Force Awake, uh, not Force Awakens, uh, Force Unleashed. Mm-hmm. Got you. I didn't see. I didn't even know he was in. I didn't play that one. He but wasn't in I, that one. I think the jo- oh, Django was. Django, Django, yeah, Django and Chain, the blue one. Oh. Uh, yeah, his dad. His cousin, um, Papa Fett. Yeah. Papa Fett. Reggie Fett. <laughs> so. <laughs> I, uh, I will fill in my knowledge, uh, which is basically Boba, son of Django, sees his dad die in the, the pit um, on whatever the world that was with the little bug fuckers. I don't Damn, even know so then, that was. So he died to the pit of bugs only he, for no, years he, later no, for, no. for Luke no. to kick him into the pit no, of bugs? He, no, he died from Mace Windu whipping out his fucking dick. Oh, that's when he decapitates him. I've seen that clip. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I think it was, yeah, it was Mace, right? It was yeah. Mace Windu, yes. Uh, yeah. In the I mean, so, Mace droid fight. Samuel so L. Then, Jackson. Hell same yeah, character, dude. different name. Best, best Jedi, maybe second to Obi-Wan. Best saber anyway, color. Definitely oh, best absolutely. saber color. Yeah. Because um, well, he's Samuel but, L. Jackson, baby. But yeah, so now Boba's on his revenge tour trying to get, you know, vengeance for his dad. He becomes a bounty hunter. Doesn't, isn't actually, okay, I'm gonna say some fucking controversial shit because that's what we're gonna be talking about all episode long. So if that's you're, for you know, true. if you're a huge lover of this, uh, I don't sorry. know if you're gonna like this. Um, I don't understand why people ride Boba Fett so hard. He, he has cool gear. He's cool. He is cool designed. He doesn't have much of an actual character in no. the original trilogy. Or here, <laughs> no. Or, or here. That's the main. My main issue was I was like, put the helmet on. Put your, put the fucking, you fucking Ben Grimm's looking motherfucker. He looks like the thing before the thing turned into the thing. Come on, looks, looks like, like the man. <laughs> looks like Deadpool. Motherfucker, yeah, he does. He does. <laughs> He's burnt to a crimps. Hey, yeah. He looks lame as shit. I was like, dude, you're bald. <laughs> but Get out my of thing here. is like. I know people personally that are like, Boba Fett's my favorite character. And that was this one before too. even Mandalorian. And I don't understand because, uh, yes, he's super cool. He's a bounty hunter. He's the best bounty hunter Jet around. Pack. But He had like two yeah, scenes in the original trilogy. He, yeah, exactly. That's my point. It's and like one saying of them that was Lando, him dying. It's, it's, yeah, it's like Land, it's saying Lando was your favorite character. Okay, like, well, that he was, makes more sense. No, Boba it doesn't, Fett. Tristan. More than he Boba was just kind of there, man. He well, did a few things and dipped. But he well, was suave, at least. Well, listen, so was Boba Fett. Uh, no, he died. Well, he listen, was clean. Well, listen, well, listen. Maybe if you read <laughs> the spin-off novel called <laughs> The Story of Boba Fett and Django Unchained Fett, <laughs> maybe you would understand why he's a complex character with no, complicated yeah. themes and different slides. Shut the fuck up. We don't read no hey. books. We don't read no comics. <laughs> no. Get the shit out of here. Like, I, no, if I, I watch I a movie, you. if I'm going to watch a TV show, I'm going to read three books before I watch the show. It's not a show. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Uh, that's why I have my opinion is because I've only seen movies, shows, Lego games. <laughs> Lego Star Wars. Uh, but I had to get that out of the way because, yeah. But, yes, you probably don't know much less than what I know, Reek. He doesn't have that much in the original trilogy. No, literally he, honestly, he's really only in the, what, fifth movie a little bit, and then the sixth movie for the first, like, little bit as mm-hmm. well before he, quote-unquote, dies. All right. But he wasn't in A New Hope at all, was he? Unless he was in uh, the cantina. No, no, you're right. Uh, he might have been in the cantina, but I, I don't remember, dude. It's been a minute. But, dude, he barely was in some of these movies. So Not to mention um, that this whole... This whole thing with Boba Fett since season two of The Mandalorian, uh, in my opinion, um, even though it may not 
be technically true total retcon i it is okay it is not totally true because i looked it up and apparently like it's lore or whatever that he actually what, escaped it, uh, dude i don't know <laughs> I, I yeah sure the book but i honestly i i hate i hate that he didn't die in the pit dude uh sarlacc pit because honestly it just it doesn't make sense for me um I, I get I get it that it's supposed to happen and they didn't retcon it, but I in my brain it's still a retcon. So fuck the retcon. This feels like they wanted money, and they were like, people like Boba Fett for some fucking reason. And if we call this show Book of Boba Fett, people are gonna watch it because it has Boba Fett. Exactly. Yeah. They, and they then everything that wasn't else. The case. <laughs> everything else. They were like, fuck it. They, why, why should we care? They'll watch it because of Boba Fett. <laughs> People weren't even uh, the most hyped for him in this series. I don't know about that. I don't. I'm not speaking on nothing with the Star Wars fans. I don't know those motherfuckers. Yeah, I don't. I don't know either, to be honest. No, unless you on Reddit, uh, Tristan. Unless you don't, don't be talking about Twitter because you know the Star Wars dudes. They don't be on Twitter. No, they I know. Be on I know the Reddit. They be in like the deep forums somewhere called like xxstarwars.com <laughs> xx or something. Bro, <laughs> yeah. From what I have seen or heard, uh. You don't it hang was the out end, the Star it, was, Wars it was the end of the series, right? That it had people much more hyped, and it wasn't because of Boba Fett himself. No, they were well, pretty hype about Boba Fett. They did the same thing this season that they did in Mandalorian Season 2, which was we bring nostalgic characters back to try to make you, you know, like the show. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's getting really one. fucking old, man. No, they did not. They Who? brought back a lot. They brought back Ahsoka. Again, she was already uh-huh. okay. okay bro- I don't count one. I count like the ones. Okay, it's been they, a minute. You know what I mean? Okay. So like, they, we already saw Ahsoka. We already saw the other one that we probably shouldn't spoil yet. Uh, yeah, yeah, we should not spoil that one. Wait, we, they brought back the Rangar. Who's that? The the creature. big dude under Jabba's palace. Oh, I thought that was a Rancor. Rancor, sorry, yeah, Rancor. not Rancor. Yeah, that's those that's a fucking Force that's Unleashed. a legend. I those. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I mean, sure. But Rancor, like no yes. more big characters. Like Mandalorian two, they really blew their load with that. With you know Ashoka and Luke and all of them, and the yes. other guy who got the sword, and all of them. But this one, they just brought those guys back again. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. and I will say, uh, first season. Uh, this is this is kind of my breakdown. First season of Mandalorian, I very much Cody. enjoyed. Yes, absolutely, yeah. it was amazing. Uh, uh, second season of Mandalorian, I very much. Too highly o- overrated last year. Uh, yep, it deserves good. probably. It is okay. Is is good. Yeah, I liked a lot of parts of it. Some of it wasn't as strong. Not not my favorite. Uh, and then we'll get to this one. But I do apologize for my idiocracy last year when we uh, did Mandalorian season two because it should not have got a nine for me if that's what I gave it. Jeez. So look, plot wise, um, they were doing the Witcher gimmick season one gimmick. Yeah, yeah. I mm-hmm. thought we learned. I thought we learned not to do that because I have tiny brain. Now, mind you, it wasn't too difficult to keep up after I no, realized what was all. going on. But still, I don't like that kind of storytelling because it jumps around and they don't make it clear when they're jumping around. So sometimes you can't I, tell. Right. I, I thought it was clear just because it usually went from him in the tub, like dreaming, which made sense. But the thing was that it didn't really have me actually entertained. You were like, invested I didn't give, in the no, Underground I, Railroad? I wasn't. No, I didn't. I honestly, dude... You know, I the sand people are cool, but they're some of the least like interesting they characters don't speak. in the fucking universe. They dude. Don't like, fairness, speak. In fairness, I was more invested in the flashbacks no! than than dude, the actual timeline. On, right, man. that was better to me than the actual timeline. The actual timeline, I was like, this, what's like, why, like, what's the point? I didn't mind the actual timeline because I mean it was. I don't know. There was just kind of a super secret, I mean, syndicate, I guess, but like, it was like a super secret. They're trying to get their fucking spice ran, you know? I won't hold you and accountable th- to this because this seems like they saw Dune and we're like, let's do Dune. Ex- dude, yeah, mm-hmm. honestly. Bro. I'm also going to hold you <laughs> yeah. accountable for this, Tristan, because when we did Arcane, you said, I hate political dramas. Keep that same energy because this was a political drama. This is it was. a political drama, yes. <laughs> and, um, and that's why I hated it. But the flashbacks, like, I didn't really care about Boba Fett training in the ways the Sand People. And especially later... didn't later do anything in, with it. Espe- I, that, well, too. But yeah. I, especially later in the season when he goes, oh, yeah, I was taken in. I was near death. Dude, you're a fucking slave. Like, you weren't taken in. 
Like you were in chains, bro. Like I don't know. I I didn't like but that. But then they accepted concept. him when he saved them. Okay, that's cool. But that's less taking in and more like, oh shit, this dude really just saved our life. Maybe you know the black people he, should have tried saving their their white saviors, and then they could have been treated as somewhat equal. Yo, that's the story wait, of Book of Boba Fett. Not almighty. Oh, oh my me? gosh. That's that's the symbolism, guys. You not get it? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. You know Disney been on some bullshit holy lately. Sh- holy what? shit, dude! Oh, come on. Oh, <laughs> stop the whole operation right i mean are we call uh, let's be honest <laughs> disney is probably like not saints they're they aren't because we know oh, that they've done this no. already we, we know, know that, they canceled yeah. the flint pot line because of china we know what they're doing down in florida right now right like disney be on some bullshit <laughs> as, a, as a white man i'm not gonna comment as, as a, a black, black person man, you i can, can say whatever the hell comment. i want yeah exactly. yeah yeah exactly i do i do have comments and i'm not gonna say them uh, but yeah, no, Finn should have been a Jedi. Fuck you guys. That's a hundred percent true. But here, here's Disney my issue, that. right? First three episodes, bunch of nothing, right? Mm-hmm. It's, it's set up and then you finally get mm-hmm. the payoff for the sand people thing, which is they're dead. <laughs> yeah. Someone went Dude, but, and fucking killed them. But we had Goro in the first episode, bro. <laughs> I, Goro's dead. He died when Cole killed him. Um, <laughs> hey, uh, also we had... The stupidest and like, I was pissed off at this cameo. Right? Why was Machete? Why was Machete on my screen? That's Dude, fucking I, his show. <laughs> Call him by. I was his like, name. holy, it's Danny Trejo. There we go. Bro. Thank you, Danny Trejo. That's Machete. Like, that's racist. No, nah, dude. <laughs> that's Machete. No one runs around calling dude. you. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> what? Oh, Jesus. Look, man. Um, either way, why was he on my screen? I love him, right? Danny Trejo's awesome. What was he there for? Twitter. He was the Rancor trainer, bro. I don't Come on. care. He was there he for was Twitter, training him up. Twitter engagements. I, I did not think I'd see. This is one of the few things that I actually enjoyed. I did not think I'd see a sand people drive by shooting. <laughs> <laughs> That's the <your> rule. <laughs> but I got it, so but, here we but. are. <laughs> Can we talk about the uh, the Wakanda noise that they do at the start of each episode? Oh, yeah. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Dude, the, uh, dun, dun, the dun, outro dun. song kind of hit, though. Dun, dun, like, dun, dun. I, I, I did fuck with the outro. Like, they, they do have good music in Star oh, yeah, Wars. Star I Wars always had good music. Uh, what's his name? John Williams, whatever his name is. Sure, I man. Forgot. Jeffrey yeah. Adams, uh, yeah, Scars guard. Anyway, he's he's supposed to do the uh, the, the, the songs score? for uh, Obi Wan as well. The score, thank you for Obi Wan as well. So I'm hyped about that. But um, I was upset. Uh, episode three. This was probably my least favorite thing in really? the show. Yes, this is my most uh, favorite. Whoa. <laughs> uh, so a general grievous right his bodyguard's got like the electric fucking sword shit the things mm-hmm. with the tips uh, on the end the yeah yeah but boba fett's bodyguard bodyguards get fucking mopeds dude <laughs> okay are you fucking when serious boba dude boba fett recruited the entire breakfast club as his shooters <laughs> i was like this show rules because dude, that wow so can you have stupid. any more least intimidating soldiers exactly right? you dude, have I was, a goth I was, woman oh Dude. You got my black brother wearing the scouter Scott? from Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> you, got, you have Scott? He's got the fucking whole scouter gimmick looking at power levels like he's Vegeta. And then the other ones just, you didn't remember him. They were just boring. No. No. Not at all. Hey, the, one had like one arm. And then yeah. they were like, okay, guys, we're not done yet. We got more. They're like, what? What are they getting? <laughs> Big ass bootleg Chewbacca. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Okay. What they call him? They call him like <laughs> Champagne or something. I forget Dude. his name. Black Chewbacca, Black Wookie was fucking awesome. He was dude. cool. He was so cool. Hey, His name hey. is Champagne. I don't know what his shoe name is. It started with a C. I think. Uh, at least, re- at least the the bodyguards all had different. I appreciated the different colored bikes, the mopeds. That was whatever. fucking stupid. I didn't dude. even look at them. I just, dude. I just saw fucking. It's just colors. Flowers, I like colors. <laughs> and I saw Napa, and I was like, "What's the point?" Dude. As soon as I saw the mopeds, I'm like, fuck <laughs> out of here, dude. I was fucking pissed. Those made me realize how water slow like some of those hovercrafts actually go, dude. Oh, dude, yeah. That was ridiculous. So, yeah, you got them. You got the, I forgot what their names are, but the two bodyguards. I think they were just called, like, Jabba's bodyguards. Oh, the, the uh, oinkers or the, whatever? The, 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 pi- the pigmen, <laughs> <What>? yeah. <laughs> the oinkers. 
fuck? So then um, <laughs> that episode ended, and we're moving on. Uh, <laughs> and then you got uh, what's her face? Fucking um, what's her name? Robot bitch, cyborg, and no, Android seventeen. I, well, I don't remember Android name, eighteen. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> Android twenty one. Anyway, uh, the that's a thing. Fennec, Fennec, that's her name. Uh, Is that the- not? The, the Asian chick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, yeah, apparently, she, tw- for, in real life, she is 58. Damn! She looked good um, for 58, dog. I was I'm not like, why do you? Dude, she's pushing 60, and I'm like, she looked that 30. was impressive. Like, I was going to say, dude, I was just looking up the cast. I was like, okay, you know, the main dude, because I didn't remember the main dude is in the, uh, the prequels uh, as the kid, obviously. Um, so I was like, oh, I wonder how old he is now. So I was just looking up ages, and I was like, 58? I don't know. Yeah, good for her. That's I, all I'm you know say. what? If someone had told me she was 40, that would have been about the maximum I could have possibly be have been convinced of. Uh, but 58, I just, that's crazy. Yeah. I was, yeah. I was shocked. I but have, anyway. I have I was... the Black Wookiee's name written down. It's Chrysanthemum. No. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is. Like, that's what they called him. <laughs> Okay. It is. I wrote it down. Okay. okay. Maybe you're right. I don't know. I'm gonna need the Star Wars nerds so, to tell me I'm yeah, wrong. Yeah. This but... feels like okay. This felt like this should have been a video game. To be honest, like it would have been so cool to play as Boba <laughs> Fett and build up your favela and like recruit people to your mm-hmm. fucking castle for a big end game war. That would have been cool. Yeah. Instead, yeah. we got a TV show, and I didn't get to kill anybody. So. And we had the stupid like mayor's helper the whole second half of this. Dude, that dude was so that stupid. Guy him and the so bad. him and the fucking angsty teen moped shit <laughs> was fucking club. stupid. <laughs> I hated the Breakfast Club, club and I hated shooters. fucking <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no. I I hated the steward and I hated the shooters. At least the robot was cool. Yeah. The rope. So they show oh, how yeah. she didn't die in Amanda. Uh fucked up timeline. They called chrysanthemum washed and then he choked out and someone <laughs> ripped their head off. Uh, yeah, five. So they just decided we're watching a whole new show now. Yeah, this yeah. is Mandalorian yeah, yeah. season three for the rest of this. It is. Yep. And it is. I was like, wow, that's awesome. <laughs> I don't have to watch any more of Boba Fett. I don't mind, dude. Man, dude, that dude's so drippy, bro. Like, I forgot how dripped out Mandalorian is. I forgot how I say dripped, every time, but I forgot how dripped out he was, how fucking cool he was, and how swagged he was. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Swag's I remember why drip, I like bro. it. Show. Like, he just went, and he went hard. Like, they gave us quick doses of him. They didn't stretch it. It was just, we got, like, a lore dump. He fought the other ones. They said that you're banished. He left. He goes to Sheriff. Sheriff does Sheriff things. Uh, he goes to, we see Grogu doing things with the, uh, with Lucamus. Yeah. We get the prelude to episodes 7, 8, 9, where he's making his Jedi Academy, and he yeah. already has a dropout. Um, <laughs> Grogu didn't even finish the three month course or whatever it was. Dude, Grogu was doing his own thing. Grogu bro. didn't like, even finish this, dude. <laughs> Grogu didn't so even finish the his first frogs. Boingvert contract, bro. Uh, that's facts. And I thought the Mandalorian arc was over at the end of six, and then they were like, "He's still here." They nah, said, "I'm gonna let you try that much. one more time." And I thought there was a Tupac Anakin hologram in Episode Seven. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was Anakin because he was wearing the hood over his face or whatever. You know what I mean? And I was yeah. like, Anakin been dead, bro. What the fuck? Oh my <laughs> it's God. the hologram. Uh, there was a blue guy who looked like the Rango frog from that one movie with Johnny Depp. Yeah. Dude, I literally said this is Rango, dude. I literally wrote that, too. Except Damn. that he's apparently one of the most hyped characters. That oh, okay. Is that the one we were talking about? Yes. yes. So Cad Bane. Yeah. Um. What was he in? Clone Wars. Oh, okay. I didn't watch that. I haven't either. A little bit. I watched a little was, bit as uh, well, but I watched like the first season. So I watched like the first two or three. Uh, it was okay. I just kind of gave up on it because I didn't really care. But th- the thing is, ca- there's no way Cad Bane's dead. Um, his whole arc in Clone Wars, at least what he's I watched, was now he's the baddest. He's, yeah, he's the he's the bounty hunter that always gets away, mm-hmm. and you can never kill him. Well, uh, he, so for him to get jabronied in fucking five seconds was fucking dumb. And um, Connor was telling me all about some of that because Connor's watched the whole thing. And Connor, who is that? My sibling. There Sorry. we go. <laughs> yes, you know, I feel like I've mentioned Connor before, but uh, this is mentioned. Not everyone that, to every episode. 
hey, look, whatever. Apparently, Cad Bane at one point uh, stole Obi Wan or stole some lightsaber from a Jedi, and then yes. beat Obi Wan in a lightsaber battle and stole his lightsaber too. And this is why I don't like Clone Wars. <laughs> I thought it was really dumb. Besides, okay, I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this one. I hated the animation. Me too, dude. That shit that's was the terrible. main reason I haven't and watched it. That's the why I didn't watch it when I was a kid because I hated how they did the animation for one and for two. I thought it was dumb. Watched it, it was okay, just kind of boring. Didn't really care. A lot of characters that were really cool though. Um, one of them was announced in Obi Wan. That's super cool. So I'm excited for that. But the thing is, like, I just don't care. I'm not going to get back to it, probably, so... Yeah. I watched it because I'm an Anakin fanboy, and it had more Anakin, and I always wanted more Anakin, so I watched a little bit yeah. of it. Ashoka was cool, too, but... Yeah, I was going to say, just, it's really just an Ahsoka show, to I be just honest. don't... I didn't get to that point where, spoilers, or Anakin's not around anymore in the show, so right. I didn't even know that that was a thing. I I just thought that the, sh- the Clone Wars did a lot of things that were stupid. Like, they brought Darth Maul back... You know, and I'm like, dude, this is just. But I've yeah, heard I there's I cool stuff in that in Rebels. Uh, it's the, it's yeah. the newer oh, yeah. ones that I've heard are weird, like Bad Batch and uh, the new season. That's the thing. I will probably watch a YouTube video because I don't care about actually finishing the show. Like, I, I have asked for the spark notes on the fucking <laughs> Clone Wars before because I just don't want to finish it. It just hurts spark my notes. brain to actually. Spark notes. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh, basically, that blue dude. I could tell with the vibe they were given, he was supposed to be like some sort of big bad. And I mean, he whooped the shit out of Bo Boo. Dude, he's cold. He's cold as fuck. Yeah, but he, like, is, he didn't really bro. get a chance to do nothing. He just was nope. like there. Hell no. No, he just whooped the deputy and the marshal because the deputy was on just dummy time. Speak, but Cobb Vanth is back. Yeah, did you guys see that end credit scene? I did. Did you yes. guys have to Google that as well? No. Uh, I, I would have to. I've never, I didn't know who that was. Uh, that was the sheriff. So, oh well, no, yes, no, 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 no. That part, I, I, I realized that. I thought you were talking about the dude who was working him in the pod. That's that's the dude who was fixing up Fennec. Yeah, putting Mecca shit in her. Yeah, I recognized that, but I didn't know if he was like some big character. I my prediction and what I've been reading on as well um, is that they're gonna fix up. Cobb Vanth, the sheriff, um, and he's going to become the next mayor, whatever, because they killed him. Bruh. That's my prediction. Because, I mean, who else would it be? Boba's like, I'm good, bro. Um, so I don't I don't know what else would happen. At this point, happen. please do not make a season two. I don't fucking care. I don't need it at all, actually. No, I mean, I'm cool with Mandalorian. I'll watch Mandalorian. Um, I'm not going to necessarily – I don't need it. Like, I'm cool if they don't make any other stuff right now. I'm not watching um, I'd like one I am oh, definitely going to watch Obi Wan. I'm so excited for that. Watch dude. that and then come back and then, or one of you is going to end up putting it on the list probably. But uh, yeah. And then when we do that and I come back here for the third time and say, I hate Star Wars, the shit sucked. <clears throat> there was just a cash grab. I'm going to be really upset. <laughs> it, it might be. But dude, if you put Ewan McGregor and Hayden Christensen in a fucking show, I don't know how it gets less than like a six. How is he going to be in it? Hayden Christensen. Are they doing because flashbacks? It's a, no, this is they're doing... in between Clone Wars and uh, Revenge of the Sith, I think. Oh, my God. They're trying to... Yes. Bro, they are literally trying to stretch the fuck out of this timeline that they've already combined they themselves yep. in. Yeah. How yep. are they making more in between episodes? Dude, I said this a long time ago, man. They should have stopped after six. Um, even even the newest... Or the... Not the newest. The oldest newest one where... Uh, I forgot which... But the one that you like. Seven, like, Force the Awakens. Name of it. Yes, Force Awakens. Even that was okay. Um, if they stuck to their dude, guns with what they set up in that movie, it would have been great. They could have been okay, yeah. But after that, dude, like Mandalorian Season 1, sure. I just don't need all this shit that they're throwing. And I know they're going to throw more that I just don't just, care about. Just do this. Just this. Keep making video games. Yeah, I mean that's that works it. too. I just, I mean, dude, that's Disney though. Disney just is is a cash grab. Fallen like, Order. Look at what they heard is great. I haven't played it yet, but it looks fantastic. I've seen people play it. <laughs> Fucking I... half the games, old the old Battlefront games were great. Force Unleashed were pretty good. What the fuck are you guys uh, yeah. making TV shows for? I don't yeah. fucking care. You're just trying know, to man. justify they're, Disney Plus. They're doing it with Marvel too, man. It's not just Star Wars. And yeah. I know, and I hate all those too, except yep, me for too, Hawkeye dude. and WandaVision. Yep. Those were good. Yep. Yep. But they're two for five on those, and they're 
one they're like one and a half for six on these. Yep, Disney's trying their heart out, that's for sure. They're like, please get Disney Plus and don't cancel. Yeah, exactly. We need the money. Which they don't realize is that people are already hardwired into Disney Plus because that's the only place you can watch the Disney movies at. Yep. Because that dumbass vault they have. (laughs) Yep. Yep. Uh, Going back to the actual show, uh, Tristan, you're going to have to think about this because Reese is not going to know what I'm talking about. Okay. So, when the Sarlacc, the Sarlacc pit, whatever, pulls down uh, Monda's ship, or I'm sorry, uh, the Slave One, which isn't technically the Slave One anymore, uh, uh, Boba's ship. Yes. So he, that thing was able to snatch that shit in midair and pull it down, right? Uh-huh. After it had already been, I mean, it had to recover after yeah. Boba just torched it. So why couldn't it pull down one Lando Calrissian? Do you remember that in the sixth, mo- or I guess in the technically the third movie? Oh, Dude, when when Lando was just shooting it over and over again. Yeah, because it had its it's had its uh, tongue or whatever you want to call it around his ankle. He couldn't pull that in, but he could pull that whole ass fucking ship down. Uh, you know, I. Dude, I saw that instantly. I was like, "What the fuck?" I like, simply I'm- blame the fact uh, that I, yeah, I have no explanation for that. Lando was shooting was it. Stupid, I guess man. that affected it. I don't know, nah, man. dude. I I don't even care, dude. Like it was it was struggling to pull Lando in there, and dude, it just said gobble gobble on the spaceship. So, well, it also had more than one little tentacle arm, whatever, around the ship, as opposed to just one around. Hey, spaceships Lando. ain't I, fucking. Like, I don't, I, those aren't those aren't light, man. You got I, a two hundred pound not, man. You got a three again, ton spaceship. Again, I I don't have a good explanation here. I'm, I'm, I was going to say I'm looking for one, so somebody come fight me about this because no, I'm pissed. No, no, no. This, this show was – this whole show felt almost like a retcon, dude. Not officially, but that sure is what it feels like. Yeah, that's all I got for this as well, so. Uh, it's fucked up because the Mandalorian parts were cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I agree. So, like – why can't I should be able to separate that as book of Boba Fett fucking four Mandalorian no, we doing ratings three oh. two point five you mean six seven <laughs> yeah no that's fair to me because that's yeah. this, those three episodes had nothing to do with the rest uh-uh. of the show not not you really. can't even Literally, argue that they were had anything to do with anything the only thing that had to do with it was when they set up the raid. Um, from the bikers that killed the sand people mm-hmm. instead it was actually the syndicate and they covered it up that's literally the only purpose besides them training boba fett to do sand people shit and becoming a nicer person and not the bounty hunter which not the way to do it sand people are not nice people like they they try dude literally all of star wars sand people are just out to get people Yep. Like, and so they just flip it. They're called now, the Tusken and now, Raiders for a reason. Yeah, yeah, exactly, dude. I'm like, dude, now now Boba Fett's a good person because he's been hanging around the Sand People. They took him in as a slave. Okay, dude. Sounds good. There's a lot anyway, of holes uh, in here. A little, a little, bit, little bit of stuff that I'm not super fond of, that's for sure. But, yes, I would agree. Uh, Boba Fett, three, Mandalorian, six and a half, seven. Overall, I'm going to give this about a five and a half. I think that's a pretty good median Overall, because I honestly, five, yeah. I was gonna yeah. say a five yeah. as well, actually, because it's it's an average show with everything combined. But dude, Mandalorian is what makes this show, and I d- didn't even need really that. I didn't need any of it. So yeah, 